rather than love, than money, than fame, give me truth. How vain it is to sit down to write when you have not stood up to live. The question is not what you look at, but what you see. Dreams are the touchstones of our characters. If you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost, that is where they should be. Now put the foundations under them. Books are the treasured wealth of the world and the fit inheritance of generations and nations. Do not be too moral. You may cheat yourself out of much life so. Aim above morality. Be not simply good, be good for something. All good things are wild and free. If a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears a different drummer. Let him step to the music he hears, however measured or far away. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately. Our life is frittered away by detail. Simplify, simplify. Read the best books first, or you may not have a chance to read them at all. Live in each season as it passes, breathe the air, drink the drink, taste the fruit, and resign yourself to the influence of the earth. I would rather sit on a pumpkin, and have it all to myself, than be crowded on a velvet cushion. Disobedience is the true foundation of liberty. The obedient must be slave. The greatest compliment that was ever paid me was when one asked me what I thought, and attended to my answer. As if you could kill time without injuring eternity. I was not born to be forced. I will breathe after my own fashion. Let us see who is the strongest. Nothing makes the earth seem so spacious as to have friends at a distance, they make the latitudes and longitudes. Things do not change, we change. There is no remedy for love but to love more. Our truest life is when we are in dreams awake. The cost of a thing is the amount of what I will call life which is required to be exchanged for it, immediately or in the long run. Not till we are lost, in other words not till we have lost the world, do we begin to find ourselves, and realize where we are in the infinite extent of our relations. Heaven is under our feet as well as over our head. If we will be quiet and ready enough, we shall find compensation in every disappointment. Any fool can make a rule and any fool will mind it. A man is rich in proportion to the number of things which he can afford to let alone. Every generation laughs at the old fashions, but follows religiously the new. All men want, not something to do with, but something to do, or rather something to be. The language of friendship is not words, but meanings. What is the use of a house if you haven't got a tolerable planet to put it on? An early morning walk is a blessing for the whole day. Could a greater miracle take place than for us to look through each other's eyes for an instant? This world is but canvas to our imaginations. Only that day dawns to which we are awake. There is more day to dawn. The sun is but a morning star.
When I hear music, I fear no danger. I am invulnerable. I see no foe. I am related to the earliest times, and to the latest. It is never too late to give up your prejudices. The mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. How many a man has dated a new era in his life from the reading of a book? It is not worth the while to let our imperfections disturb us always. For my greatest skill has been to want but little. I say, beware of all enterprises that require new clothes, and not rather a new wearer of clothes. The most I can do for my friend is simply to be his friend. There are a thousand hacking at the branches of evil to one who is striking at the root. Pursue some path, however narrow and crooked, in which you can walk with love and reverence. Say what you have to say, not what you ought. Any truth is better than make-believe. I had three chairs in my house, one for solitude, two for friendship, three for society. If you would convince a man that he does wrong, do right. But do not care to convince him. Men will believe what they see. Let them see. Take long walks in stormy weather or through deep snows in the fields and woods, if you would keep your spirits up. Deal with brute nature. Be cold and hungry and weary. I can alter my life by altering my attitude. He who would have nothing to do with thorns must never attempt to gather flowers. It is not enough to be industrious, so are the ants. What are you industrious about? The universe is wider than our views of it. Every morning was a cheerful invitation to make my life of equal simplicity, and I may say innocence, with nature herself. I have an immense appetite for solitude, like an infant for sleep, and if I don't get enough for this year, I shall cry all the next. Wildness is the preservation of the world. The path of least resistance leads to crooked rivers and crooked men. Friends. They cherish one another's hopes. They are kind to one another's dream. Amid a world of noisy, shallow actors it is noble to stand aside and say, I will simply be. A lake is a landscape's most beautiful and expressive feature. It is earth's sigh, looking into which the beholder measures the depth of his own nature. Men have become the tools of their tools. Public opinion is a weak tyrant compared with our own private opinion. What a man thinks of himself, that it is which determines, or rather indicates, his fate. We are born as innocents. We are polluted by advice. Men are born to succeed, not to fail. Thank God man cannot fly, and lay waste the sky as well as the earth. If a plant cannot live according to its nature, it dies, and so a man. I have, as it were, my own sun and moon and stars, and a little world all to myself. I should not talk so much about myself if there were anybody else whom I knew as well. We are constantly invited to be what we are. What sort of philosophers are we, who know absolutely nothing of the origin and destiny of cat? 
That man is the richest whose pleasures are the cheapest. Books must be read as deliberately and reservedly as they were written.